your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR Hand Crank Generator, to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, 3rd Edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand Crank Shortwave AM FM Radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com, and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press. All the while enjoying a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I'm waiting for the TSA to grub me between the legs because it doesn't matter that they openly run al-qaeda that's the whole point that's how they take away my rights because at five o'clock they will make obama the dictator the sands of time for the Republic. The sands of time for me are running low. Only a virtuous people can be free. And there are a lot of virtuous Americans. I love this country, but man, I tell you. Just the mindlessness over sports and the fact that people know nothing but that. While the country just burns in front of us. Some guy last week ran in his house over a burning Xbox and almost died. I wish he'd run up to the city council and speak out about the globalist takeover and Agenda 21 and the destruction of private property rights. I wish people would take our schools back from Common Core and teaching kids two plus two equals five. You get upset about your team losing, I get upset about Team America turning into a corrupt cesspit. I don't want to live in Guatemala or North Korea.
And all the energies you've got that are meant to be obsessed with your freedom and being in charge of your life and being fiercely independent and, and a rugged individual are squandered on sports, and that's why every authoritarian regime has promoted them. Chikara, you got to run in there with Josh and jump on the train and uh, face the big terror threat. Thank goodness they've got attack dogs and machine guns, though. They'll keep us safe while New Jersey takes the citizens' guns. But then you'll be inside to watch Super Bowl 48. And uh, Jakari, closing comments before you jump on the train and drive down there and maybe give us one more report before you go into the stadium. Yeah, Alex, uh, like you said, uh, we're going to have to jump on the train because we can't drive because the security threat, I'm not sure if they raise the uh, the terror threat level, but plenty of DHS, plenty of state troopers, they're going to be at least 3,000 agents of various agencies and police there on the scene, along with snipers aiming guns at your head. It's a nice open-air stadium so the Blackhawks or the F-16s can take out your entire section if there is a single terrorist in your area. Absolutely insane. Uh, Jakari, well, you, you've been braving the global warming up there, and we're braving it down here with more ice set to form tonight in the middle of uh, central Texas, so it's terrible. Yeah, well, it's, not, it's not dripping down my nose. Yeah, it's uh, braving this global warming, all this, this excessive heat out here. All right, Jakari, get on that train. I don't want you to miss it. Great job. All right, thanks, Alex. There are a ton of video reports archived at InfoWarsNews.com, InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. There's a bunch on YouTube as well on one of our official channels that has... 250 million views, and there's a bunch of other channels as well, but it, it's all up on InfoWars.com. If you go to the front of InfoWars.com, we have Sports Illustrated, Super Bowl 48, terrorist, don't even think about it, with a gunboat, with a guy driving around with an M60 machine gun. And again, folks, I love our military. I got a lot of family in the military. They face real jihadi threats overseas when they fight them in Iraq or Afghanistan. I've had family wounded over and over again. I've lost more distant family. Uh, I've got a lot of family scarred watching their best buddies die. I've had family that served, one family member served eight tours off and on in Iraq and Afghanistan. And if the IEDs don't get you, the deadly spiders will. They got spiders that are worse than black widows. I mean, it, it's crazy. I'm not saying there isn't a Muslim, extremist Muslim issue. The point is, is that our government, the State Department and others, look at Benghazi, have been arming Taliban, arming Al-Qaeda, and letting them attack countries that are neutral or that aren't attacking the West to try to destabilize the Middle East. All because Saudi Arabia is running Al-Qaeda and wants to take over. Meanwhile, Iran is back in the news. Iranian commander, we have targets within America. That's out of the Daily Caller, directly from Press TV with the Iranian commander saying they have sleeper cells in the West and can attack America and says we are strategically ignorant. Uh, and let me tell this top general something. The people running America go to sleep every night, this is one of their Joint Chiefs of Staff, hoping some crazy jihadi does something. That's why the FBI, even the New York Times, had to admit out of 100 stop terror attacks, 90 plus of them were completely staged mentally ill people that the FBI went out and found and commanded. They didn't go stop a group by infiltrating it. They went and found them and created it so they can justify their jobs. Now the FBI doesn't even investigate white collar crime. They said two weeks ago, they fight terror. That's because the country's run by white collar criminals. They don't want them dealing with that. They want them dealing with the terrorist. And it's all a big excuse for a power grab. So I talked in the last uh, segment about the bad that, you know, there, there's the headline, FBI drops law enforcement as primary mission. And that was in the Associated Press a few weeks ago. So the NFL's parasitic and tax exempt and gets taxpayer money to run security and gets taxpayer money to run PSAs, you name it. I mean, it is it is. It is a total joke. I mean, they'll take an old lady's house if she doesn't pay property taxes. Or if I don't pay the income taxes, they'll come arrest me. And there's no due process. But, but these billionaires are tax exempt just like Formula One. Because they pay the lobbyists and write the laws. And it's wrong. And it's a fraud. And I'm sick of it. False dreams. Most kids will never get to be uh, professional sports. 
uh, police state promo to sell the police state at the NFL. All the anti-gun stuff, the Obamacare stuff, makes the government out to be the heroes taking our rights. The corruption, the, the underage prostitutes, the diversion from all the real world. The fact that men are supposed to use sports-like brain areas, areas of the brain meant for strategy and war gaming. You're supposed to learn how government works and how life works and how business works and get into that and be competitive in business and, and be a trailblazer. And, and our heroes are supposed to be adventurers and scientists and, 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 and firefighters that go into burning buildings, not sports people. This is sick, folks. And authoritarians know that. Male soap opera, arrested development. Again, people only talk about sports, nothing else. Used to suppress real male activities. Takes over the, an area in the brain meant for planning and survival and war planning. Now let's get into the good. <clears throat> sure, government and social engineers and collectivists and leftists have tried to co-op sports for their anti-liberty message, but they want to get rid of it. They're banning sports in elementary all over the country. Wrestling, dodgeball, tag, running, don't run at recess, don't run at sports, ban football. So overall, they're already trying to get rid of football itself down the road when they're done using it. So overall, it's got some positive aspects to it in the way it used to be. I'm not saying sports isn't incredibly healthy and good to get your male energy is going. Notice they're attacking. They want metrosexual. They hate the image of alpha males. So NFL, the rest of it, very healthy from that perspective, but they know we have a hunger for it. So they piggyback and Trojan horse all their disinfo onto the top of it. Uh, no guts, no glory. It shows you go 110% or don't play in the game of life. Same thing for business, parenting, all of it. 110%, it's easier to go all out than go halfway or 90%. It's hard to go slow, at least for me. I, I mean, the secret is just get into it, have fun. Learned that from my dad in business or cleaning the garage out or painting the house. He'd have fun doing it. That's the secret. He said, oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. Good. You can admire that and admire the human spirit and say humans aren't junk. Look at what we can athletically do. The globalists are always telling us humans are bad. Get rid of humans. You know, the too many of us, blah, blah, blah. Work hard. You get ahead. Number three, sports good for kids and adults to play. I'm all for sports if you're in it or you're watching your family in it. Keeps competition alive. They're trying to get rid of that with Common Core, getting rid of A-pluses and stuff because it hurts other people's feelings. No, there can't be winners and losers. you got to know how to lose to know how to win, folks. So I'm all about winners and losers and that competition. That's what makes us all great because being in the arena, at least you're not those timid souls who were never in the arena. And that's how you learn how to win. The best thing ever happened to me was being bullied a lot. Hundreds of times when I was in 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th grade, and I turned into an absolute badass. Let's continue here. Keeping competition alive. As I just said, they want to get rid of competition in the general public to make us all a bunch of corporate drones. Football especially is good to keep competition going. I already mentioned schools banning sports and dodgeball. Teaches sportsmen like conduct. A lot of good stuff about it. There you go. If you know what's good about it, it's good. And demand that out of sports, it's healthy. But we just turn it over to Obama and the globalists to have anti-gun ads, but not allow pro-gun ads, and, and to push Obamacare, and to push Obama. I mean, give me a break. You got to boycott it. At least speak out against it, or you've turned it all over to the bad guys. We'll be right back. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. 
dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with fluoride shield. I use fluoride shield every day. Secure your fluoride shield and other pioneering formulations.